Hey, hey, hey guys, it's Frecky here, and today I'm doing a bonus video. This time I'm going to be doing an 11 random question tag. All right, so the intro wasn't really that descriptive. Um, this is a, a tag where people do on YouTube where they tag other YouTubers and have them do something. In this case, it's answer random questions. There will be 11 of them. I was watching a YouTuber, Let's Get Fit with Sandy, and she was doing this tagged video, and she didn't actually tag me, but I commented, and I was like, hey, that's such a really cool idea. I hadn't really known much about it, and then I, you know, Google. And, so, and she commented back saying, you know, I should do it, and, you know, she'll basically consider myself tagged. So that's what I'm doing. So in this, I'm gonna start off by saying that I am going to be tagging the TMI Queen Gets Fit from Dumpy to Diva, Samantha Wright, and No Excuses, MTB, and Weight Loss. So I will put the questions in my description box and I will put a link to their channels as well in my description box. And so when you guys see this and I'll of course, you know, let you guys know, then do yours and I, yeah, do it. It's it's kind of fun. It's kind of cool. But anyway, so I'm moving on to the first question, which is, uh, do you collect anything? And if so, what? Um, in case you haven't noticed, because I had to rearrange my room due to some uh, issues on the wall, uh, I do have a lot of stuff that I like to collect. The number one thing that I would say would be Doctor Who things, mainly because if I move my head, like over here, you can see Doctor Who, Doctor Who, Doctor Who. And Harley Quinn, I love her too. Um, and that's a Lucio box. I got a bunch of bunch of stuff. I'm a giant kid. This over here is an exclusive uh, Doctor Who uh, figure that he stays in the box. And I mean, this shelf here, full of all kinds of stuff. This shelf down here, all Doctor Who guys. And you know, that's Dragon Ball Z. That's mostly Harley Quinn. And I also collect a lot of Overwatch stuff from the video game. I'm a big kid, and obviously Harry Potter because that dude over there. Um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a giant kid. Like, I mean, I've got Pikachu in one ear, Batman in the other. If you haven't figured this out yet, that that's, you know, something you should realize. Uh, but yeah, so mainly Doctor Who stuff. I have numerous Doctor Who shirts. I have the, the light that's shining on my face. It's from one of my Doctor Who lambs. One of them. I have several. And yeah, so Doctor Who stuff. And so, yeah. That's that one. Number two is, what is the m one thing most people wouldn't know about you? Now, this one I actually tried to think before recording this video. Um, I'm pretty much an open book. I, I don't know what there is about me that people most people wouldn't know. I'm, I'm pretty open, and I'm not that, you know, deep. I mean, I'm deep, but you know what I mean. Like, I don't have a lot of, you know, secrets or anything like that. I, I put it all out there. Um, especially for the people in my life. There might be something that I just can't quite think of on YouTube that y'all might not know, but I mean, the basics are all there. I'm a nerd. I like to game. Uh, I have depression, anxiety. I'm overweight, trying to lose weight. I, I'm gay. I don't really know what else there is to mention that you guys might not already know. So that one I really can't answer, so I feel bad, but you know, it is what it is. All right, number three, what is the one thing you wished you would have listened to from your parents or friends? Um, now that one, there's so many things, uh, and it's hard to say because I am a firm believer that everything in life happens for a reason. I, I li like to live with no regrets, learn from things that have happened in my life. So it's hard to say one thing that I wish I listened to. The only thing that I really could say is um, I wish I'd listened to my parents more about saving money when I was younger. Uh, my, I, I remember, I, I don't know why I can picture myself in the living room getting ready to walk out the door and dad, my dad randomly having a conversation with me about it. Um, it's because my parents were poor. I'm poor. They were poor. Um, it, you know, it, it's a fact of life, unfortunately. And I didn't really, you know, listen to them. Granted, I mean... They didn't have, he didn't have like solid examples, but yeah, that's kind of the only advice. And it wasn't even solid advice besides 
that, you know, I did make some mistakes that I, if I had actually paid attention and heeded some of his warnings, I would have, you know, been doing a little bit better than I am currently. But yeah, so that's basically it. Um, the rest, like there were some relationships or things about how I mentally think of myself that I wish I could have learned from, but it's one of those until you go through it, it's really hard. You can't learn from other people's mistakes. You have to go through it yourself. Or at least I'm the type. I'm kind of bullheaded. So maybe that could be my answer to number two. Most people don't know how bullheaded I am. Although my friends know. It's kind of obvious. But on here, maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to move on to number four, which is do you think any kind of afterlife exists? Now this one, I... I I honestly don't know how to answer. Um, I don't want a lot of hate or anything. And like, typically I try to keep, you know, religion and things like that. I don't put it out here, but I mean, I was raised in Lutheran schools and I found that that wasn't for me. I've done a lot of exploring in my life as far as what I believe and I really don't have a faith. I don't have, you know, I'm not Christian. I don't have a path that I specifically follow. And so as far as afterlife, I don't know. Um, I like to think that there is a heaven. I'd, I'd be really cool if, you know, reincarnation was a thing because, like, I feel like I'm an old soul. I've been told that by numerous people. So I, um, I don't know. And... I don't hate on any religion or any belief that has a specific, you know, guideline for the afterlife because I feel like any and all of that is designed for making you a better person and having you treat other people better. So if because you believe in heaven, it makes you a better person while you're alive, I'm all for it. I just unfortunately I've tried. I mean, I was raised in the schools, but unfortunately, it's not something that I personally believe. I just believe in making the most of life as you can while you're here, making the best positive influence you can while you're here. And then I don't know what happens after. I mean, you could just go to sleep and never wake up. Your soul could move on to another plane of existence. You could, you know, be reincarnated. I'm honestly, I don't have any strong beliefs one way or, or another. So, yeah. So, please don't hate me for not, you know, being really, really religious or anything like that. Um, it's my personal belief. I'm not hating on any other belief. I believe all, everybody has their own path that they have to follow to be a better person. And so, yeah. So, number five. If you were granted the choice of superpowers, which would you choose? The power to stop time... Or the ability to heal. And now the stop time, she did explain that it's like, you know, I forget the the show. I think she was a robot or she was an alien. I'm not sure. But where she'd touch her fingers and freeze time so that you could make a change. Um, or the ability to heal. And honestly, for me, the ability to heal, it's, it's, it is, that's what I want, you know, that would be awesome. Um... I feel like it that like I always overanalyze when it comes to super abilities, but there's a lot of you know weight to it. Like how you know can you heal just anything? How, how fast? How you know whatever it is, and especially because like I feel like you know again I feel like everything happens for a reason, and sometimes unfortunately it is some of those hardships and health issues that um, can make us grow as a, as people. Like I mentioned before about, you know, with my mom passing, how it was a kickstart to me mentally to get my life, you know, more in track. And I don't know if I would have without that happening. And while, you know, she was my best friend and I miss her dearly, that was a lesson that I could not have made or had or experienced if it didn't happen. So with that being said, I still choose heal. I still would love to help heal the world because there's also other aspects besides health, you know, like emotional healing and mental healing, all of that type of stuff. I feel like ultimately, despite the lessons you can learn from it, 
it would be awesome to be able to heal people. So moving on to number five, if you're granted your, oh, oops, wrong question. So moving on to number six, which would you choose to be a billionaire, but never know love or $50,000 a year? That one's easy. $50,000 a year. One, that is like double what I make anyway. So bring it. Two, there's more than just romantic love out there. And I, you know, I love my animals. I love Doctor Who. I love my friends. And I would not want to live in a world where I couldn't experience that. So that's not even on the table. I mean, this thing could have said, you know, $30,000 a year, and I still would have chosen that over being a billionaire with no love. I mean, it could be broke the rest of your life, which it probably will be, <laughs> but I would still choose that over not experiencing love. There's so much on this planet to love and appreciate that, you know, money's not worth. It. But yeah, so anyway, number seven, if you could go back in time, what one thing would you have changed in your life? Um, again, like I said earlier, I feel like everything happened for a reason. Everything is a growing experience. Everything we can learn from. I would say maybe the fact that I gained all my weight back um, after losing it, mainly because I would not be having to go through this right now. But again, with that, I wouldn't have this channel right now. I wouldn't be, you know processing things a lot differently than I am now because the first time I lost weight luckily it was in a phase where things were going pretty smoothly for me so I did not have to process some of the things that I had to process once my food uh, addiction was and distraction was out of the way like I've talked about that before how you know I think the video was called like the darker side of weight loss or something like that or unexpected whatever but so I don't even know if I really would change that but I, guess, I think I would, but I don't know. All right, so what one moment, oh, uh, number eight. What one moment in time that changed humanity would you change? <sighs> Again, I mean, the same thing, I've, I'm repeating myself. I feel like things happen, especially I've watched a lot of Doctor Who. So when you change major events, you know, the backlash from that. You don't know what the world would have been like without that happening. My gut instinct is just like what Sandy said is, you know, Hitler and, and that whole situation because of him be gone. Um, I would hope that it would have ended up being a better world, but honestly, you don't know. But I'd be curious to find out. So I'm going to say that. All right, so number nine, if you could choose something in the creative field, what would you choose? One, I do hair. So I feel like that is in the creative field, so kudos for that. But if it was something else, I would say writing, um, being an author. I used to do a lot of it when I was younger, and I, I don't anymore. I've tried, and I just cannot. My brain just doesn't process it. Sorry, my dog. Um... So I would say that. I would love to be like an urban fantasy writer, author. It would be amazing. Um, so yeah. So number 10. Whoops, mouse froze. Do, do, do. You're in a shopping complex and someone needs help. Would you stop to help? Um, I'm not exactly sure what kind of help this is referring to. All the time when I'm in a you know grocery store or whatever, because I'm tall, I help people reach the top shelf. Or if I see somebody in, you know, a little cart, I, you know, help them reach things. Or, you know, like today at the grocery store, a lady was uh, trying to get in her car and stuff, and she was in one of those carts. So I helped that. But if this is something like more serious, like, so, like somebody being robbed or mugged or, you know, worse, I... In my heart, I want to say, yes, I would help. Uh, I am also a very much a scaredy cat and not confrontational at all. I don't like confrontation. So that help might be a matter of, you know, calling the police or just making a lot of noise so that they know somebody is nearby and maybe they should stop. 
I don't know if I would have the guts to get involved and stop it. Um, yeah, I, I, I judge myself for that. And I, I know I would love to think that I would be the person that would swoop in and, you know, yell at somebody to stop. But I also didn't grow up in the best of neighborhoods and I kind of learned to mind my own business. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I have my phone. I have picture. I can take pictures, record, call police. Like I said, make noise or maybe at the very least go if it's in a shopping complex and there's a store, go get somebody else to help. I'm knocking over my microphone, but I don't know if I would have the guts to actually swoop in alone and help. So, yeah. All right. Number 11, the last one. If you don't do daily vlogs, would you do vlogist or vlogtober? I honestly am thinking about it. I'm thinking about kind of trying it out with like a vlog temper. Um, for those of you that don't know, like Vlogus and Vlogtober, it started actually with Vlogtober, but um, it, it became a hashtag on YouTube where all sorts of vloggers and even people that don't vlog post videos every day and you know, for the entire month. And I, it's something that I'm curious about doing because lately I've been ha I've been posting up like random extra videos and I don't know if my daily life would be interesting enough to do anything. Um, but like as Sandy said, you know, she posts every single day and it helps keep her on track with her weight loss and her activity. Um, me posting my weigh-ins and videos on Tuesdays, I feel like helped me. Uh, do the same thing, but I'm wondering if it would help me, you know, a little bit more if I were to do something like that. And obviously if I did something like that, it wouldn't be this set up with my laptop. It would be with my phone and, um, you know, clips. So I am thinking about doing like a trial run of it, like a vlog timber next month, um, just to see how it goes and then officially participate in like vlogtober. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm curious about it, but we'll see. All right, so that is all of the questions. So again, I'm going to say that I am tagging the TMI Queen Gets Fit from Dumpy to Diva, Samantha Wright, No Excuses, MTB, and Weight Loss. And those are pretty much the only people I interact with, like, really regularly that weren't already tagged. I really would have liked to tag Barrett Pastor because she's my friend's mom, but Sandy already tagged her, so can't do that. But yeah, so, and for those of you that... um. I tagged if you have any questions comment or and especially if you comment like maybe we can figure out a way to exchange emails or something like I do have my email address in my about section so that you have any questions or whatever feel free message me and anybody in general feel free message me anytime um because that one I made specifically for YouTube so I don't get a bunch of junk mail so it shouldn't get, typically get too too lost if you email me there so yeah so if you're tagged you're it please do a video. And I guess I'll say my usual thing. If you're on a journey, let me know. And I love to support you. I love the support. And if you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the little bell. That way you get notified when I post videos, especially bonus videos like this week. And until Sunday, when I actually do my weigh-in, I will see you all later.